Hello friends, fellow students, although the mighty virus has compelled us to maintain a distance, we have come closer through Radio Kanchi 90.4 Hamsapka Radio. Let us introduce ourselves. I, Dr. Samira Sinha, Assistant Professor from the Department of English, Jagannath Nagar College, Ranchi University, wish to elaborate upon the life and times of David Malouf to you in semester six. David Malouf is an Australian poet whose poem Wild Lemons is prescribed in semester six, paper C14, unit four. Now what shall we deal with in this lecture? First, by way of recapitulation, the main points of the previous lecture on the background of Australian literature and its main themes will be dealt with. And then the life and times of David Malouf will come next. That is when and where he was born, what were the different influences on him as a writer, his creative contributions to Australian literature and specifically the poem prescribed for detailed study. I hope you are aware that Australia, the smallest of seven continents, is situated in the southern hemisphere and is surrounded on all sides by the ocean. It was discovered by Captain Cook in 1788 and although it was inhabited by indigenous people for generations, it was claimed as terra nullius by the British settlers or as the land belonging to no one. It converted into a penal colony, that is, a place where convicts guilty of breaking the law in Great Britain were deported to Australia as a punitive measure. The natives who were called Aboriginals attained citizenship rights as late as 1967, when immigration laws and social culture brought about a multicultural society in Australia. Now, during the 19th century, Australia was a British colony. Therefore, its literature too was Eurocentric. That is, the poetry written during this century reflected colonial lifestyle and temperament. The chief features of which were adoration of the British Empire and the royalty, the transplanted culture in a land that felt rough and alien, and upholding white civilization in general. These and some of the themes found in colonial are some of the themes these are some of the themes found in colonial poetry of Australia in the 19th century. Gradually, the tendency towards ideals of nationalism evolved and a sense of identity and pride grew amongst the people, which is reflected in the works of Australian poets of later years. Some of the common themes such as local flora, fauna, the bush life, mateship and other typical Australian characteristics may be observed in the literature towards the end of the century. Briefly, some of the themes common to most Australian literature may be broadly characterized as follows. First, the Australian land which was vast tracts of barren land or wild bush, commonly referred to as the outback and its distinctive flora and fauna. Second, 
the Australian identity, which includes the colonial consciousness, a sense of alienation experienced by the settlers, the phenomenon of mateship because of the wilderness of the outback made interdependence necessary, and a strong sense of nationalism. The third common theme that came later was the voice of the Aborigine. And finally the fourth, that is women's voices that grew stronger. To come to the particular poet, let us focus on David Malouf, an Australian white poet who was born in 1934 in Brisbane, Queensland. He did his schooling from Brisbane Grammar School and he later accomplished graduation in honours from the University of Queensland. He travelled to and fro from Australia to Europe, on account of which his writings have an international appeal. Many therefore call him a transcultural writer. For instance, in an interview published in The Hindu on November 17, 1996, Malouf speaks about his multicultural background. His grandparents were Lebanese, but that did not influence him much. But then he discovered that the Malouf family, which originated in Arabia, was a family of great writers. And so perhaps it is in his genes to be a writer. His mother was from London, and she brought a lot of Edwardian English influence into their home. Initially, Malouf began his writing career as a poet before gaining fame as a fiction writer. Most of his early poems were personal or subjective in nature, as he wrote about his grandfather, his sister, his home in 12 Edmonton Street in Brisbane, and about the process of growing up. He later wrote poems on love and his travel experience of the places he visited in Europe. His poems later developed into cultural and historical poems, which are sometimes dense, philosophical or meditative. His first collection of poetry entitled Bicycle and Other Poems was published in 1970 when he was hardly 28. The poetry collection of the 1980s to which this poem, Why Lemons, belongs, was called First Things Last, which, as we shall see when we read the poem, is a celebration of all things natural and the world of nature. Neighbours in a Thicket, published in 1974, is an award-winning collection of his poems. And friends, from here onwards, we shall deal with the specific poem, Wild Lemons. But before that, you are requested to read the poem available on Google and ponder over the following points. First, why is the poem titled Wild Lemons? Why or what, what does the word lemon remind of? Why is the adjective wild used? And may I also request you to please have a hard copy ready for my next lecture so that you can annotate on the poem itself. Thank you. Until the next time.